Welcome to First Issues. Previously on the program, we had a conversation with commercial project manager at the Botswana Digital and Innovation Hub, Kuki Pirinyani. On that pitch session, where 11 innovators registered with the BDIH had the opportunity to pitch to the First National Bank of Botswana Foundation for a sizable share of 400,000 Bula total cash prize. Three winners, Organic Naturals Skincare, Angular Creative Labs with Muhiri App and Doctors E-Consult emerged from this session. This evening, we profile the winner of 250,000 Bula at the session under the existing business category, Organic Naturals Skincare. The brace behind the winning pitch is Didin Moregi, who is a 25-year-old graduate from Botho University. Didinja says she started her business at just 16 years old after years of suffering from acne that did not seem to want to go away no matter what she tried. But a conversation with her mom and grandmother led to the discovery of how natural products were the solution all along. So I think actual started when I was 16 years old to solve my confidence problem. Now two things were happening. I was an early bloomer and my body now was quite mature and faster. And I had this bad acne that was showing itself on my face and my jawline. And it was very consistent. I was on and off um, all the medication that you would think of. And one school holidays, I went home. And my mother and my grandmother were home at that time. And my mother had bought murula oil. And she said, try this out. And at that time, I was now into scrubs. And this was around 2013. I was now into scrubs and I, was, I literally had oatmeal and brown sugar and I mixed them all together. And my acne started reducing. And I went back to the hostels that I stayed at because I was schooling at Botu University. And people started complimenting my skin. Before, people were telling me, try this, try that, try that. So I was a guinea pig. But this time now the guinea pig was getting compliments, which was quite funny. So people were complimenting how my skin was looking and how I was looking quite good. And I said, oh, okay, this works. And I went to a friend of mine, um, Nete, and I said, I would like you to design for me a logo. And she said, which one? And I said, um, what's the name of the business? And, she, and I said, something organic, something natural, <laughs> and skincare. And I said, oh, very interesting skincare makes sense. So that is literally how the genesis of organic naturals came about. From my mother and her mother saying, this used to work on our skin when we were young, try it out. I didn't see us where we are now i know that it's, it's it's like okay what do you mean but i always knew that it was going to solve a confidence problem i didn't know that it will solve a confidence problem in the static region that's how big we are because we're now exporting to zambia and a little bit to south africa what gap were you trying to bridge within the community with your product whether this be in Botswana, you know, that's locally, or in the region, the SADC region, or internationally, if that is the space that you're looking to tap into? A couple of things, honestly. First things first is that I went to school for it, right? So in 2018, I was in Nairobi for quite some time. As a finance head, I said I was sitting for my CFA exams, the Chartered Financial Analyst. And I said, I'm in Nairobi for such a long time. I better do something with my time here. So I enrolled at an institute in Nairobi. And um, the knowledge that I got there firstly was to be plant-based but science-inspired. So that was, that was the first thing that we did. And that's the, what's actually driving organic naturals is that we are science-inspired but we're using plant-based solutions for that. And what I always tell people is that the African story of skincare is not just shea butter and black soap, right, that we also know. It is actually using plants that grow within our backyard and finding the science in them and using the solutions in them. The second thing is that we always position ourselves to be a golf, our customer's girlfriend or boyfriend, as we would say, whereby we get to sit down one-on-one -on -one with you and get to understand your skin, the causes of it, where it started where it's going, what you've been using, and what we believe are contributors. These virtual consultations help us understand your skin better, and they help you understand your skin better. So because of that, we walk the journey with you. You don't just buy it over the counter. You have people who are accountable with you to find the solution with you. 
that's what makes us different. What are your future plans for your business? Definitely as a worldwide solution now. Solana just didn't just a solution. It's a worldwide solution. I do know that in the next future we're rolling out into SADC countries. Um, we're getting our testing done. It's actually almost completely done against the FDA and the U EU standards. So with that, that is where we want to go. We literally want to tell the world that this is the African story of skincare. This is Botswana's version of skincare and beauty and includes Murula, Moringa, Moretodoha, in case you didn't know, these things work and they work very beautifully on our skin. This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?